What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave and Tony. Today we got an unboxing for you. That's right. We got a nice 3D printer that we added to the collection. Unfortunately, my model price select mini went. So I ordered another one and that one went. But I fixed it. But I'm just saying it's a common thing with the model price select mini. The good thing is the cost. But you always got to remember you get what you pay for. But I was able to fix it. Put a little time into it. So the model price is back up and working. Ignore the mess back there, but I'm going to show you both really quick. I'm going to pan around there. So, of course, that's the one that's working. Got my Game of Thrones that I printed there, and it's modded a little bit. Almost done with the filament on that end. And also down here at the bottom, that's the one that unfortunately broke. It shuts off randomly. So I got to get that guy fixed as well. That video is coming soon as well, and I'm going to give you the five things I hate about the Minor Price Select Mini. So before you do your purchase, and of course they do have the newer version, it actually has the same issues as the previous one. I will give you a little insight for if you decide to purchase that. But here, guys, I got the Flash Forge. Got the Flash Forge. I'm very excited about this guy. Uh, this had excellent reviews there on Amazon. It's the Flash Forge Finder. Got this on Amazon, almost 400 bucks. So I'm hoping this is gonna solve all your boys' problems and I'm not gonna have any issues. So with that in mind, let's do the unboxing. Wow. I know the box was big, but I was expecting to be a bunch of boxes inside a box. And when they said it was a small cube, I wasn't thinking like a big cube. It's almost from looking at it, it's like the size of a mini refrigerator. So this is going to be a huge difference in comparison to the model price select mini. And I think we're going to do that. I'm going to do a side by side comparison and a future video coming up. And I'm also going to do one of my popular prints that I have, but I'll show you the difference in print. But let's check this out. I'm going to get it over there on the table over there. But so far, I mean, this thing is big very big difference compared to the mono price select mini so let's get this guy out of the package let me get my vanna white on or vanna black see <laughs> why do you say vanna black though because i'm black <gasps> oh <laughs> 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 so it looks like they give you a couple tools there. You get a little USB device here. It's probably going to be your transfer to get your G code files. Well, that's what it was with the model price select thing, but to put your G code files on there so you can print it out. Gives you a little wrench there, a little screwdriver, some other little gadgets, Allen wrenches. That's the first thing. Next up, we have the manual. So I'll probably have to study this tonight. And we also have some white grease. I guess we're going to have to lubricate something. Also, we got our power cord. Looks like it uses a standard power cord, same that goes on a PC or any other device, so that's a good thing. Nothing special about that. So pulling off the top there, you can actually well. see the, uh, yeah, it's actually packaged really, really well there. So you can see the top there. I'm super excited about this because the print area is huge. I see it comes with some filament there and it's PLA. I did my comparison with PLA and ABS and I'm assuming it's probably a sample. It's actually a pretty decent size. So unlike the other 3D printers where you get the sample amount, they actually gave you a lot. That's not a sample, that's a spool. So that's really nice that's super cool plenty of pla white filament with this package once you pull that out you got some other your brick for your power supply there and also we get our usb cable that we can hook up directly to the pc also get the disappearing purple glue don't know what this is for i guess that's where the manual is going to come into play also a spare tube in here i'm not sure what this guy is for either figure that all out during the process it gives you a very high elevation as far as your print so you see the resting area is going to be here at the top so you have an opportunity to do really large prints, it looks like, or very tall prints. So in the back here, let's take a look at this guy. So when you pull the lever up, so it looks like this is where your filament is gonna rest. Now I have to figure out, I wonder if it has to, I'm assuming it would have to be on a spool like this. Before I was using spools that were a little bit thicker, I think those guys would work, but this looks thinner as far as the structure, but you still, with the weight of it, you can tell there's quite a bit of filament on there. But it looks like it's gonna sit in this guy, you're gonna shoot it down, print away so i guess have to figure out how all that stuff fishes through i'm going to share the first print with you guys overall a decent weight to it it's not too heavy it's a lot bigger than what i expected it to be which is great i was actually thinking some little tiny cube I actually when i seen a couple pictures trying to do some research on it and seeing a couple pictures i don't know if it was the angle but i thought it was going to be something like maybe half the size of it very happy overall feels great feels like it's structured really good great quality open up on the sides there in the front and then also on the top so there's plenty plenty of ventilation there and it looks like there's also a fan for the back components here for the electronics that are inside there to actually cool those off but i don't see this device overheating some lighting inside there
I'm just assuming we're gonna go ahead and cheat here. I think this should rise up just like any other. Yeah, rises up, so let's get this guy out of the way there. Okay, so it looks like this is gonna be at a starting position. Disposal there at the bottom. You have a significant amount of room there to do a nice 3D print. Also feels like this is textured. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a heated platform. I don't see any wires that are running through. It could possibly be, but I don't think it is. I think it's not, I don't know for sure. But the thing is, is I actually don't use the heated platform anyway. We'll see that and now once I determine it, I'll be sure to follow up with this video to let you guys know. Overall, I'm very happy, very satisfied. Great product, physical condition. So now it's time to put this video to the test. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave signing out, Mad DIY. Make sure you guys stay tuned in for the comparison and also my first 3D print with the Flash Forge Finder, please.